Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Okay, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you. <laughs> That's a good one. Maybe I won't kill you right now. Oh. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. <clears throat> yeah? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Hello? Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Excuse me, do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. Well, well, aren't we jumpy? You would be too if you were me. I've been researching Big Whoop for years. There are a lot of people who'd like to get their hands on my files. Are you looking for Big Whoop, too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know its location is a mystery. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a... Terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Wow, that's some story. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Nice place you have here. Well, goodbye. Okie dokie. Hey, where's 
Where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. He looks nice enough. It's just a bucket. Hey, leave that alone. Do you think you could let me have this bucket? No. Please? No. Pretty please? No. Pretty, pretty please? No. Pretty please with sugar on top? No. Pretty please with sugar and a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar, nuts, and a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar, nuts, a cherry, and chocolate sprinkles? No. I really need it. No. Well, I didn't want that old bucket anyway. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. What is it? Long time no see. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush, the man who rid the world of LeChuck. Sure you are. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right, performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The sacking lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. How much longer is this story? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you should bore passers-by to tears with long stories? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Actually, I'm kind of busy right now. Okay. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. He looks nice enough. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Who are you? 
Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes the cleanest they can be. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Margo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You then. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Hey! Hired help only! Largo's been here. I don't want to touch it with my hands. Oh, isn't that cute? I could lose a finger doing that. I could lose a finger doing that. I could lose a finger doing that. Hmm. Only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. I don't think I'd get away with that. Be with you in a second. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. Hold it right there. That's a private room. No going up there. There's no glass in the window. It's a cold potato and leek soup. It's too heavy. He looks really into his cooking. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking.
Welcome to Wood Tick. No treads are hunting zone. Oops, I think I broke the sign. It looks murky. I don't want to touch it with my hands. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine, all mine. International House of Mojo. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Display model. Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. It appears to be yo-yo string. Well, I'll just take a little. Guy brush three wood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root, and how to turn it into the powerful, ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person, and no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing, and a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body, and from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Now go. Great Recipes from the International House of Mojo, page 139. Aunt Helen's Special Voodoo Doll Mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. 